And today's outfit is active lad, short shorts, TNs, highlighter shirt, looking very, very active. I'm gonna be active today too, I believe. We'll see. Got the line over the tree in the first go. Boom, the thing's amazing. You. As always, today I'm doing something different and unusual. Today I am going to ascend a rope up this tree. Uh, I don't know if you can see, there's a green line up there. Had a couple of sinkers on it. Some running hitches on a rope there through this line that I just threw over. I'm going to show you later how I threw that over. But uh, yeah, just pulling this line up over that branch. So I can then go up and get the one that I tried to hand throw up there the other day. It was a bit of camping line with some um, fishing style hook, um, sorry, sinkers on it, lead sinkers. And uh, yeah, it uh, got caught, it got snagged on a branch. I'm only new to this. I um, personally don't really give a fuck what people say about what I do. I do my research on things, um, keep myself as safe as possible. So, I don't know there may be some people going, what the fuck are you doing? You're not qualified to do that. Well, I'm not going up and chopping down branches. I'm just climbing a tree. And it's something that we all used to do as kids. I'm just doing it the safer way. So, yeah. The rope's almost over there and through the neck of the branch. got a uh, dynamic rope here, no, static rope here, not a dynamic rope, and look at me with my terminology all over the place, now I've got my static rope here, static rope doesn't uh, stretch as much as a dynamic climbing rope, well a dynamic climbing rope has some stretch and flex in it, so when you take a fall, it's not as hard an impact on your uh, body through the harness as this would be, so static ropes are typically used for I'm sailing, ascending your rope, rope access, and rescue. <clears throat> I've been doing shit like this pretty much my whole entire life. And here we go. There's about a 50 meter rope here, it'll be well more than enough, I'm pretty sure it's only about 10 meters up to that branch. I went and bought an anchor yesterday along with this throw line. I got 100 metres because there's a tree that I plan on climbing once I get a bit of experience doing this. is the first time I've actually rope accessed a tree. As I said, I've climbed heaps of trees in the past but never rope accessed a tree. Uh, there is a tree that I want to climb and the first branch is 34 metres so by my calculations my throw line needs to be at least 68 metres long so I thought for the extra 35 odd metres I'd just get the extra line there we go running hitch technique worked a treat there is another technique you can use you get a hot nail or a hot skewer poker poke it through the end of the line then chuck a bit of prussic cord through the end create a loop then you can tie your throw line through to that um, tie your throw line through that and then tape it up so you don't get any snags I possibly could have put tape on that this is a, I believe it's an iron bark um, but it didn't get snagged so I guess it was maybe a little bit of wishful thinking just putting the throw line back on the end of the line to keep it all neat and tidy for me simple little bow line to keep it on so I'm going to use other people might use something else but 
Yeah, that's what I'm using. See, I've got my rope hanging down there now. So, so I don't have to pull all this through. I'm going to use this as my anchor. This my anchor line here. I'm going to hook around the bottom of the tree. The caravan system. I'm not going to put a safety system on that. I'm not actually going to be that high. And I'm going to take up my uh, belay device up there with me so I can get off my Juma and abseil back down the same rope. And that's the line that I've got to rescue up there. I'll get the drone out and have a bit of a fly as well. Nah, yeah, once you get the view from up there, it should be all right. It's not extremely high. But yeah, this is just out the back of the oldies. Probably shouldn't be here. I think this block of land's owned by that lady, but I mean, you all know how many fucks I really give. Anyway. Just chilling up the tree, trying to get a slow line out. And I'll put it on his day. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. No, about 10 meters in there. Lucky I'm a man of land, sea, air, and air. Gun and spear is going to help me get it out. I've got sinkers caught up in a branch trying to throw a line the other day so I can climb this tree. So a great way to test out my uh, climbing gear and this this uh, gorilla pod that I've got by Joby is absolutely amazing too. I use it so much; it's quite expensive. But yeah, I've got my Juma all rigged up. I'm rigged onto my Gugu now, so I can descend. Um, I probably should have a backup device on here as well while I'm jugging up. But uh, yeah, I'm up in a the tree. There's the lake over there. I've got some, um, I've got some lovely onlookers down there, Laurie and Yvonne. And uh, yeah, it's pretty nice up here. Quite safe and secure. Yeah. Climbing harness is not the most comfortable. Oh, as um, you know, cuts into my legs a bit. You're not designed to. Hang on, sit in it too long. There you go. Take a few photos. Flip this off. And uh, head back down. Yeah.